all right guys welcome back to the channel and today i'm going to be showing you guys how to install a universal water temperature gauge and to do this on the 5.0 mustang that's the carbureted swap that we did uh, from the ford explorer the 2000 we're going to need a gauge that comes with a sensor and then we're going to need this pipe that comes with the proper hole size and clamps to hook up the sensor because we're going to be putting this in the in one of the coolant lines instead of putting it in the manifold there is a hole there that you put the sensor in this is for your ground so you put your ground wire on that and um, hopefully i got the right size this looks a bit small but uh, should work these are the clamps that i use to hold it down let's put this to the side I love the uh, link in the description for the two of these parts because you can use this pretty much on any application. I think this is a D-Well or something like that, aluminum something. But I'll have the, uh, the link in the description for this, uh, especially this as well. And I believe that the two of these together didn't cost me, um, I think 20 bucks or something like that. So it's very inexpensive get this gauge out the gauge has a pretty cool feature where um, it's blue most of the time I don't know if you can see the, that uh, light and then if the car runs hot or to a certain temperature it uh, the gauge will turn red uh, to tell you that it is running hot so let's take off this uh, face so that we can get the gauge out uh, let's screw it out all right, so let's take this out. And this is what you're gonna use to attach it to whatever in the car. Still gonna figure out how I'm gonna, um, where I'm gonna place it. But this is your wire harness for the back of the gauge, it clips in. And then you run your um, wires to this to give it power and the most important part this is your sensor let me show you how the sensor is going to be installed on this take your pipe put the sensor down in it screw it in and this nut right up here you're going to take that nut off and you're going to put a wire um, on on this side tighten it back down and you send that wire i believe it's this green wire here on the um, wire harness for the gauge and that gives it that send tells it what temperature it is whilst the water passes through this it uh, touches the sensor and sends the signal back to the gauge so we're gonna see um, how accurate it is as well and um, how easy it is to install uh, should just be that we have to cut the hose in half and um, put this in the line should I get this to focus? There you go. So this is the 38 millimeter version. And like I said, it's very inexpensive to do. The reason why we have to install this on the Mustang is because we went from electronic fuel injection to carbureted and the sensor that was with the electronic fuel injection doesn't work unless you have a computer sending it five volts and then the sensor sends the voltage back to the computer and then the computer sends it back to the gauges or sends it to the gauge cluster so we don't want to have to deal with that system anymore so we just got the gauge that's gonna meter the temperature in the water itself all right guys let's get outside and uh, start installing this all right guys, this is what we're working on. This is a, I believe this is a 96 Mustang. I'm really not sure of the year, but uh, it's that SN95 body that came with the 4.6. Um, and I have a 5.0 with a carburetor on top, HEI distributor, uh, manual choke. This is a Motocraft two barrel. And this is my top radiator hose. Um, what I did is I just cut it, put the clamps on, and now we're gonna be uh, mounting 
the pipe that's going to house the sensor. This is it here. That's the sensor installed. So let's get it mounted. Uh, the reason why I put it in the top pipe is because I want the temperature of the water coming out of the motor and not going into the motor because that will give you a pretty inaccurate reading. So you want that pipe that uh, carries the water back to the radiator. Let's get this hose back on. Go. That's one. Let's get these clamps tight. Alright, so got it nice and tight. Now that it's uh, nice and tight on there, let me give you a look at it. Reason why I angled the sensor this way is just for hood clearance. I don't want it hitting the hood. We are going to now run a solid ground to this little bolt. And then we are going to run our uh, sensor wire from here through the firewall and um, onto, the, onto the gauge. So I'll go ahead and wire this up and come back and show you guys how I did it. All right guys, um, I have the wire in just mocked up right now. I don't have anything uh, solid or at least done properly. Just wanna see if the gauge works um, and how it works. So I have this uh, green wire here that runs down, connects to a few other um, pieces of wire because I didn't have a wire long enough and goes right in the, that grommet there, right there. And that goes to the gauge. That's the signal wire from the sensor. The negative I just have running off this uh, small nut that goes down here to a ground on the motor. I'll show you the inside now. On the inside, we have the wire harness here for the gauge. I have the, like I said, the green wire is for the signal from the sensor. The black wire is the negative that I have here on a bolt on the inside on the chassis so it's grounded. Uh, this red wire I did not hook it up as yet because I wanted to show you guys this gauge wire and I have to feed this down to get this wire long enough to reach um, to my fuse box to put it on a 12, um, 12 volt on whenever the key is on so it'll only get power when the key is on. So now that you guys have seen the wiring and how I wired up this uh, temp sensor and the gauge itself I'm going to connect this wire to a fuse that only gets power when the key is on and then I'll show you guys how the gauge works all right guys now we have the gauge completely installed we have the red wire for the ignition on ran to a fuse now we're going to be turning the key on so you can see what happens to the gauge and there you go. Starts out at 104. It has a red warning light uh, whenever the system, I guess, gets too hot. And um, yeah, that's how you completely install a water temperature gauge on any vehicle, really. It's very simple to do. Um, I'll have the link in the description for the gauge itself and for the pipe that we had to install to put the sensor in the car thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to like share and subscribe